G'day guys. Um, I just watched the the latest video from Bart K, and he was with um, Phil Escott, and they were talking about uh, you know this guy called Dan, and uh, I had a few points that I'd like to make in regards to that video. So let's get going. I'll just share my screen. Give me a sec. Okay, so this is the original. Um, sort of video that was um, debate, whatever you want to call it, discussion between Phil and Dan um, Wilson, uh, who's uh, a microbiologist. Just for those who don't know, I suspect most of you, many of my subscribers have probably already seen it. And this is the actual um, debrief edited version that's not behind um, it's not private at the moment. This is public, um, being provided by um, Bart K. So it's on Bart K's um, channel. So that one. And let's get going just because they're covering this specific point in terms of the death rates in the US, um, the so-called increase and all this sort of stuff. Let's just look at this sort of information. Um, I'll make a couple of points. Um, I do know people in the sort of industry and there have been cases even in Australia where because there's compensation where some doctors have actually been putting down yes of that on the C19 as being the major cause because you can get compensation so there is a problem with a lot of that sort of stuff but I'm not claiming that it's all the cases or but some have become have been made aware to me so, and I know people in this sort of um, industry, but I'll leave it at that without getting these people into trouble. Unfortunately, you can't. You've got to be very careful what you say, both online and in general. But uh, I've heard it myself personally, um, but I'll leave it at that. Um, I'm not prepared to, uh, to endanger other people's privacy on that front. But let's continue with the what they have to say with this study that Dan actually, you know, flashed up on the screen like Mike the Vegan and going, look at the evidence, look at, look at how many people are dying. You know, the typical sort of um, neurotic young people that basically want to make a reputation for themselves by having a go at somebody like Phil, who's a wonderful person, you know. Um, he makes basically, you know, he's a saint compared to me and Bart. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> we can be crude and rude in in many regards and Phil's just an absolute saint I'll give him that I take the head off to him uh, his patience is incredible but let's just listen to um, what Dan has to say telling your audience and you have an audience why are you telling them that there is nothing if you don't know how to fix yeah Phil why are you miss why are you misinforming your audience why are you being such a misanthropist why are you telling people not to visit Jabba the Hutt goodness me can't you see that 660,000 people died last year don't you care about 660,000 deaths Phil yeah he tried that yeah, that's one true. it's 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 because I I it's the old story you know guilt trip someone you know put them on the spot and say you are a evil evil person it's a great misdirect great in debating as a public debater myself i'm well aware of those techniques um in that regard so let's actually go and look at this is australian government department of health co um c19 yes the jab of the hut weekly report and this is very recent on the 9th of the 12th 2001 and let's see some of the information. So summary, myocarditis, pericarditis, following the mRNA, yes, jabber, jabbering, particularly in young age groups, you know, all these sort of things. So we, even they recognize that basically these experimental versions, viral vector or mRNA technology or within a lipid nanoparticle, they have these issues. They're not denying them because they've been recognised and picked up. So for Dan to basically have, saying, you are a bad, bad person, Phil, for saying that some people are getting these things and some people are ending very sick 
or some people are basically ending even dying. You're a really bad person. So, yes, it's more bullshit a different day. This is the official. I mean, there's plenty of studies as well, and I've sort of shown you some, some of the studies. I did show the oncology studies, um, how up to two years catastrophic um, effects to health. I'll put that up there. And, and also methods of actually protecting yourself with T lymphocytes. I'll put that down there at the end of this video. So I'll provide you the information because Dan won't. Um, so let's get going with this. Cover up my diagnosis of psychopathy, but... Yes, yes, I thought so, yeah. Mm. They were in a panic. They didn't know what was going on and it was tacked on. There weren't any auto... I like that from Ryan. He's a vegan again, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. A sophist, a typical sophist misanthropist that basically just use smoke and mirrors and that sort of, a, you know, I will question you. You will be questioned a bit like, the, you know, and if you go back a few years, you know, a few, cent a few centuries, mm, Spanish Inquisition, you are a heretic. You will be questioned and you will be dealt with. Yes, very much so. Autopsies. Oh, there and are plenty of autopsies early on. There, yeah, there are now. I think I sent you one from, you know, report. All right, so now Dan is inferring or implying that he's read all the autopsies. I know what's in the autopsies, Phil. I've read the autopsies. <laughs> oh, how funny. It's so funny. Yes, yes. Thousands of autopsies from all around the world. Yes. God, this guy gets around, doesn't he? Must be brilliant no you fucking haven't Six hundred and sixty thousand of them <laughs> uh, i just like how serious Bart is when he actually says that i just need to cut that because he, he, he was ready to swear he'll demonetize me god a damn buck eh? cannot control his outbursts <laughs> uh all those kind of things that i bet my bottom dollar you couldn't sit down and actually do the calculations yourself i've taught these calculations for 25 fucking years sunshine yes because he can't do the calculations now let's look at the data you know the actual real this is basically the u.s death rates 1950 to 2022 this is over a very long period of time not a short period of time okay so this is official data that's actually provided um, or a number of countries do to the UN. And then this is sort of projections being made by the, well, they're assuming that this per thousand, there'll be a certain, a certain level and all that. But we'll ignore that. Um, we'll actually look at the real numbers because like this is the annual change, like up and down, you know, there was always, and I mean, look, we're talking about zero to 1%. 1% negative, 1% positive. We're talking about statistical noise in the background. That's where usually the death rates from the 1950s all the way through, even the projections are showing that. Even the, but usually they show you this, the death rates in this way. Why do they show you this? And these big projections and big stuff like that. Because basically it stands out when you do it like that. You know, so... That's the 20, um, 2021 data from, that's all projections. So we'll only know at the end of the year. So um, what the real number is gonna be. And I suspect it'll be within that. And now that um, it'll be close to, to that or slightly below, but still statistical noise. Now, these are the death rates between countries. Obviously the younger, the countries that have got younger populations tend to have lower death rates. The countries that have basically got a more aging population that's another confounder every year a number of the more advanced especially european countries tend to have higher and higher um, death rates because they've got an aging population so the us tends to get more immigrants in so it tends to tends to basically get more youth in every year so it sort of balances out slightly the actual aging population far more than other nations around the world and tends to keep at a certain similar level. Now, let's look at the, let's look at the actual numbers. 1950, there's your number, all-cause mortality. 
So this is basically where you take the amount of people that died from all cause mortality, divide it with the population, whatever the population is at that point in time. Okay, so I'll give you an example. This is why the other stuff, you know, where they say so many people died, like 100 people, um, uh, you know, or 200 people, yeah, but in relation to what? You know, when they say 600,000 people died, well, it's a percentage against the population of a three, 300, well over 330 million. Well, that's what you have to divide it by. It's a bit, I'll give you an example. 10, 10 um, you know, 10 people die in a population of 100. That's 10%. 20 people die in a population of 200. That's still 10%. There's no difference in percentages. It's just more have died in one country compared to the other, but that's in relation to a larger population or in the other case, a smaller population. You've got to relate it back to the population. That's how you get your death rate, okay? So your death rate is in relation to the population, not some magical number out there. So let's take a look, 9.6. And remember when we saw that um, the actual other graph on the bottom that were going up and down, that's the difference between years. So, you know, that year had, you know, 30 people less, uh, sorry, not 30 people, sorry, um, 0 0.03 less. So it actually went down by that amount. So that's the sort of number that goes up and down, up and down like that sort of thing is the difference between the previous year. So that really is telling you there's not much difference. And if you, as you can see, the line was just, even the projections were just basically nearly a straight line. If you zoom out and look at it over many years, you'll see it's only when you've got warfare and other things and famine and pestilence, where you'll see those numbers dramatically change as a difference, as a ratio. Now, these numbers, obviously, you, in the 50s, you had the um, Korean War. Um, in the 70s, you had the Vietnam War. Since the numbers started coming a bit down and then popped up again, and then the end of the Vietnam War, so numbers went down again. They sort of, and then you got to 2008, that were still coming down, down, down. And then basically they started rising after 2008 because of the economic crisis and started getting worse and worse and worse. And so what's the difference here? Just a bit over 0.1. There could be a whole lot of factors. See if the difference between the other year has actually come down. So here from 2014, when the, the, the magnitude of, of um, you know, of forget about the stock market, even in the middle of the Great Depression, the stock market was going gangbusters because of cheap money. What's happening in Main Street is the most important. People were basically losing their homes. They were losing their businesses. They were basically um, on the scrap heap. You know, that's the real thing. You know, poverty or minimal wage. People were basically living very difficult lives. So more stressful lives as a consequence um, with the, you know, poorer salaries. That can actually increase that growth rate. And that's what happened through this whole period. We get to 20 Look at here. Basically, the number between 2020 and basically 2021 has actually come down slightly in terms of the growth. It's actually slightly come down. It's probably a bit, all, all those benefits of people getting or basically getting a bit of a, you know, but that's not going to last. As we know, long term, you can't keep on printing money forever, ever. And so the difference in the actual the death rate is statistical noise point. 0.1. Now that's a, pro a projection, so we'll ignore that other figure up there. We'll know by the end of the year. But as you can see, there is other confounding variables. We're talking about less immigration, more aging population is one factor. Um, in, in the US, the, uh, the other factor is um, more impoverishment due to the GFC. Um, then people losing a lot of their businesses can actually drive people to potential suicide. So we know the rates have been going up. They have been recorded. But the reality is we're not talking dramatic numbers. And when you actually ask actual people in the business of dealing with death um, in mortuaries and all that, they haven't seen any dramatic numbers that would indicate a pandemic. So 
these figures don't show me something like the 19, 1918. That was a real pandemic. This one doesn't look anything like it on those numbers. The difference in the death rate from all cause mortality in the US is not dramatically different from one year uh, other than another. And there are a whole lot of confounding variables that I've just mentioned. I would say on that issue, Phil and Bart get a one, Dan gets a big fat zero. Basically, he's looking at fabricated data and flashing it around as if it's evidence and ignoring actual real death rates of the US, actual real numbers. That's the most important thing. So yes, that's the real story. Dan is exaggerating the facts using fabricated adjusted data to make false points and arguments. And, uh, um, you know, as I said, as Bart said, front up to somebody that really knows statistics to basically point all the fallacies in your ridiculous arguments, Dan, front up, man or mouse. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Good job, um, boys. Good job, um, Phil and Bart, in dealing with this um, uh, truly misinformed young man who basically thinks just because he's got a piece of paper that's hardly dry yet, that basically he's an expert in these things. Apparently, from his presentation, I would say not. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you.